There's an injustice, whether it's against you or someone you love or someone you believe in. Stand up. Don't sit down. Don't sit down on them because they need you. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. So happy to be with you on this Tuesday afternoon as we talk more about the players in this Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Uh, so happy to be here with It's Kim and Louis Lecca helping out today's show. May have some other special guests joining throughout. So thanks for being here. Uh, I, I already got flack for this title from people. Guys, Mike, hear me out before you jump to conclusions. Give me the benefit of the doubt. I see so many people jumping on TikTok, standing these two people. Look at this. Look at this. We got Johnny and we got Camille Vasquez, his lawyer. Uh, and there's just been a lot of, uh, you know, affection and moments that TikTok and others are losing it over. Even my lady, Jami, was like, uh, are they, they're, they're, a, there's something going on right there's some energy there between the two of them. Uh, they're, oh, the giggling and the, look at her. Ooh, what's going on? Guys, guys, I get it. I get it. He's a good looking man. She's a good looking woman. These are two very fine individuals. But I'm here to debunk this. We are going to debunk this. They are not in a relationship. I hate to just to, to bury the lead, but uh, yes, there's a lot of moments. I, I have a theory, which we've talked about on this show, but I think this is all on purpose. Camille Vasquez is happily with a boyfriend who is in the courtroom, mind you guys. I'm trying to figure out which guy he is, but I've been told... He's in the courtroom, okay? He's in the courtroom. He's there watching. He's there supporting. I'm sure he's, I guess he's allowed to meet Johnny. I would think he is. Uh, but all of this affection that you're seeing that the fans are standing, I firmly believe this is part of the plan. The touching, the laughing, the happiness. Look, Johnny does that with everybody, okay? Johnny's just a nice, loving, friendly guy. I don't think anything here has crossed the line. He's just, he, he does it to Ben, too. He grabs him by the... They, they, they're all very touchy and supportive, as they've sort of explained. They've become friends in this case. They really believe in him. They support him. And there's a lot of camaraderie and support on these. But is there something more between Johnny and Camille? I'll ask you guys if you think so, but I, I don't. She's got a boyfriend. And also, I was told... Uh, I got an info. The states using ABA model rules have a pretty clear guideline. A lawyer shall not have relations with a client unless a consensual his relationship existed between them when the client lawyer relationship commenced so also legally this is a bad rumor to be putting out there because it would just start then amber has an excuse well they were in love blah, blah, you know so uh, knock it off tiktok i like you tiktok yeah. you're cute you're fun you get some really good investigation done but in this case i think we have to end this one and debunk camille and johnny that doesn't mean that they're not fired together look at these two i am so excited for this cross from Camille next Monday. I know you all can't wait, but I think she's doing this and she's being even extra smiley, flirty and touchy because whose skin is that going to get under panel? Kim, do you think Miss Amber Heard is going to enjoy watching this beautiful, intelligent, powerful woman there with his at her ex constantly just having fun while her side is always looking miserable they look like they want to just hang themselves over there on team amber meanwhile johnny's right we're saying they're they're sharing snacks and they're having laughs and cutesy moments do you think this is getting under amber skin kim of course it is i think it is but i i don't think it's anything more than you know they're, they're getting along i mean i as a lawyer, I would I would imagine that you probably see so much more information about your client than what gets shared with the court. And when you I Johnny seems like a very electric, compelling person. I don't know how you couldn't, you know, be rooting for him and you want to be supportive. And I don't think that putting your hand on somebody's arm and being like, dude, you did good today, means that anybody is hooking up with anybody. It just means they're being supportive. And if it if it ticks off Amber, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. That's a, it's a nice little bonus. Welcome, Steph, the altar nerd. So good to have you here. There she is. Hey, uh, hey, before we get Wearing to your me, thoughts. Uh, oh, I Michael love it. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Shout out to Michael Jackson one. Cirque du Soleil. That was a great show. Was uh, before we get to you, Lewis, I don't want to skip you. I always skip Lewis for everybody else. Lewis, what are your <laughs> thoughts here? Do you think there's something sizzling between Camille and Johnny that they're not talking about? I Yeah, uh, I hope she's like a sister to him he needs like 
like someone like that not a, a relationship i would think from what i see from the outside in i think it's a it's a sisterly love kind of like i have with steph and, and everything like that like someone that that's supportive that i could call behind the scenes i hope it's like that i don't want to see that but hey on another note amber heard tweeted out some racist tweets about hispanic people and land people right ice is doing checkpoints bam 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 hide your nannies and housekeeper check it out here's a latina who's a lawyer is gonna kick your ass bitch boom go get her get her man for that racist tweet you did calling all of us illegal aliens nannies and, and toilet scrubbers this one's not this lawyer is gonna make you scrub her toilet with shit on it whoa that's my stuff rant for today right, right out the gate with impressive a, a Lewis, impressive man. steph approved <laughs> steph approved Lewis. steph approved all right steph what do you think of this uh this tiktok romance everyone just keep trying to make between camille and johnny it, it's it's a nothing burger the mountain out of molehill i really really don't think that's what's going on uh first and foremost it would break professional ethics for camilla to be involved with johnny depp during the trial uh i'm i'm sure there'd be some kind of uh legal ramifications for her uh in terms of the state bar that she belongs to this that and the other uh and some kind of bylaws that she might be breaking or something along those lines i would imagine so just from a technicality point it just can't happen um i just think it's just friendly i just think it's just johnny being johnny when it comes to just you know in terms of how he is with people with human beings you know what i mean he sat with us so what's he supposed to do just kind of be like not be johnny and just be completely like stony faced this that and the other now i think this is more fan fiction <laughs> <laughs> more than anything else and wishful thinking but nah nah yeah well you're not alone there there rumors are it's total oh. fan faction fans yeah. may have seen smoke but let me tell you there's no fire something called professionalism many people jump to conclusion that he's undergoing a dirty legal battle uh, against uh but is uh, with sneaking around with camille she is happily taken uh she she has a boyfriend i guess uh, i don't know if she's married uh, but their sources have close have confirmed nothing is going on between the two happily taken by a British guy who works in real estate. Of course, he's got some amazing hot British real estate mogul. UK no represents. doubt. Uh, and if any, I, 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 there was talk of like, Oh, this guy probably doesn't like all this bullshit, dude. Yeah. I hope you're not threatened by any of this. Cause you got this smoke show, professional, amazing woman by your side. You better not be letting anything get to you, buddy. I'm not trying to get it under his skin at all because I think we're all standing Camille right now. Uh, in fact, I am. I'm, my shirt's in the order. So if anybody else is, you're, if you want to get in there before next week, because I'm, I'm putting all the positivity that Camille is going to destroy this turd next week. She's going to flush that turd down the drain next week. So get your shirts now so you could be standing along with us because it's time. It's time for, for a strong woman to put that girl in her place. And I cannot wait for next week. Uh, so yeah, to, to Camille's uh, hot British hubby, uh, you're a lucky man. No, no disrespect here. And uh, yeah, good on her, man. We we tried to get a little bit more information about her. She's uh, in Orange County uh, with this firm, uh, Brown Rudnick. And uh, yeah, she's been doing this for a long time. It's super professional. I don't think she'd want to put this into jeopardy. She's she's done a lot of other fiduciary cases with high profile clients, um, multi million dollar defamation claims. Uh, so she's no joke. She's the real deal. And uh, good for her. Uh, but getting this this press getting this support and i see nothing i'd see nothing here yes there's a little bit of a you know some smiley touching but that's just the way johnny is i think they all really like each other like you said lewis i think this is a a connection this is like we do with steph uh there's so many people steph that are trying to connect us hello oh, I I, know. It's, it's so, so weird logical. i see Sorry, it's like my little <laughs> sister no offense steph but yeah no y'all my big brother mate yeah there, there's... <laughs> you and lewis you know, i'm a big brother it's like no <laughs> it's very but anytime we're it's close it's like oh they must be they must be Ooh. and no i, I again i'm debunking it one more time debunked Camille, yeah. we, we respect the hell of you, and I'm not letting this one go out there. So while you guys well, can... I asked the poll, too, and the poll, thank God, only 5% are like, no, no, they're dating. Uh, but luckily, they're most of you are 66% friends only. 30% said, oh, they're friends, but man, they kind of winky at each other. They're a little into each other, but nothing crossed the line. What were we going to say, Lewis? 
I was going to say that it goes back to like people don't understand that men and women can be friends. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, so it's like they want to like, uh, what do they call it uh, in movies? They want to like ship them together. Shipping. Shipping. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think Johnny, from what I've seen, needs more of a sister type friendship right now you know you don't have to be in a relationship a million times he's been on millions of relationships probably stuff we don't even know about the, he needs a friend that's what i yeah. think yes yeah. well said yeah. uh yeah ladies any other comments on this uh, i mean tiktok is clearly wants this to happen as they do with any couple in movies or shows but uh uh any other comments on this i i feel i kind of with lewis i feel like this is just a big shipping i feel like you almost have like two dolls here and one of them is a successful actor that you think is cute and the other one is a successful lawyer that you think is cute and now people are going and now kiss now kiss <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's not the way life works <laughs> so that's that's how i see it that's Although how i see if it. she was my lawyer i'd definitely make a move <laughs> yeah <I agree. laughs> Just, what, if, they, if, they, if all were single, <laughs> hells yeah, who wouldn't? If you were all single and it's allowed, damn right. She seems amazing, as does they both do. Uh, all right, well, that, the next topic to get to, which I thought since we're standing people, uh, there's another uh, gorgeous, brilliant person on this panel uh, who's been there, not on this team, but has been in this, uh, t- uh, what's it called? Expert. An expert witness, if you will. Uh, of course, I'm talking about Dr. Curry. Woo! And we got that shirt, too. If, you, if you're standing Dr. Oh, Dr. Curry nice. instead, oh. you can come get your Dr. Curry <laughs> shirts over here as well. But I, I realized as I was looking up uh, Dr. Curry, um, wait, there we go. She's, she's you know, she has a life outside this case. And I, look, I hate to, like, dig into these people's personal life. I'm sure they hate this. But I'm <laughs> dying to know who the Muffin Man is. <laughs> Dude, I'm yes, sorry. We need to get I a, like, an know. exclusive interview with that dude. I gotta know who is this muffin man. Enough about the muffins. I, we're a little late, I know, but I was like, I bet you we could find. And sure enough, we did some digging. We got to learn a little bit. I, apologies in advance. This is all done out of love. Leave them alone, people. Leave all these people alone, you crazy people, weirdos. Don't message <laughs> them. Don't <laughs> harass them. We're just having some fun here because we stand them. And my God, I'm so. Before we get to it. Before we get to it, I don't know if you all saw in the thread already. There is a picture. Kim, I guess you're already out. Steph, I don't know if you saw. Lewis, Steph, thoughts. Who do you think? What? what how do you predict this muffin man to look like? This this man that that she has. Steph, thoughts. Uh, tall, uh, slim build, but a little bit like on like not like thin as in like anorexic thing, but thin as in you know healthy kind of situation. Uh, I see him with quite like sharp, distinct, distinctive like uh, uh, jaw, um, kind of like a bit like Superman in a way. Uh, dark hair, uh, clean shaven. Yeah, somewhat along those lines. All right. Bit like of a hipster, maybe, but yeah. A bit, a bit of like a hip. Interesting. Okay. Lewis, your thoughts? I think he's probably shaved head, uh, has like a goatee that like this, nice teeth. Uh, medium size, a little chubby, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. I wonder who that reminds me of, Lewis. <laughs> nice tan, you know, you're round tan. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. brown eyes, you know, that's what I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm on with Lewis's. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, there was one other picture. I, I, I'm trying to find it, but now it's, hold on, where is it? Uh, let's start with this picture. Uh,. <laughs> He, I don't think he's going to be model type, though. You don't think he's a model on a scale no, of 1 I don't to 10, good looking? So. No, 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 I think he's going to be average, yo, or average Lewis. Average Lewis. Okay, hold on. Well, she's, privatized, Lewis. she's privatized a lot of stuff, <laughs> understandably. So I'm yeah. not going to uh, go too deep into this because that would be weird. But, uh, all right, here we go. You ready for a picture reveal? God. Not the here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Booyah! He goes out with him? Okay, maybe not clean shaven, but yeah. Okay. I'm kidding. That's Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> well, yeah, we know. <laughs> well, I know. Yeah. It's Thor. It's Thor. That was Thor. All right, so here was the first image that we were able to find, but it, it, it's very hard to find a face photo. So this uh-huh. was the first image she has sort of publicly out there. Them getting married, I guess. This was on the, like to the, the, the city. Right. And so you get a sense. He is tall. He has a yeah. beard. But we don't see his face just yet. We got the face reveals coming. We did dig up on a social. Someone did reveal the face. We are going to unmask the Muffin Man. Are you, this is this is big, the big exclusive. Where's my exclusive? 
<laughs> but there he is. Yeah, he looks. He's he's uh, in shape. Uh, All right. All right. It seems okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. So who who is she? She's a uh, uh, what? Let's see. On psychology psychologist. Wait. What do we know about her? I thought this was the document we had. Sorry, there's a couple random documents. Oh, here we go. Meet her. So her husband's name is Ty. We don't know her last name. He might be a businessman or a physician. She hasn't disclosed anything to the media yet. Uh, but she's her career specializes in psychiatric counseling, assists individuals with trauma, etc. According to her official website, we've discovered her wedding image on the Instagram handle. That's the one we just showed you. Let's congratulate our very own Dr. Shannon Curry on her marriage to her long part-time partner, Ty. Now, uh, this is her ex-husband. Kind of looks like Bro Thor. <laughs> yes. Uh, A little bit. Hold on. Why isn't this image? I can't shrink this image. Is a no? I can't. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Here's her <laughs> ex-husband, which is not what I expected. There he is. This is her ex-husband, who has got the big, full Thor, like an old bro Thor, Thor, Thor beard. He seems like a nice guy. This was Justin Westgard, who was her ex-husband. Uh, they were married. Um, and then uh, I guess they, she has a kid. And then so here is the current husband. There he is. There's the muffin man. Good for him. Good for you, but I like the tattoos. Mm -hmm. This they seem like a delightful, amazing couple. Well, there it is. That's who got Dr. Sharon Curry uh, the ring around her finger, and she got him. Beautiful couple together. In case you were dying to know who the Muffin Man is, we have exposed the Muffin Man. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Look. May 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 I do a little bit of a victory lap here, just a little, because I pretty much got everything right apart from clean shaven bit. Yeah, pretty That's good. Not a hipster, though. Uh, People are actually, like, That's to be fair. Come on, he's nice. He's a good looking dude. He yeah, is. I like this That's guy. Not man. He's not. What are you talking kind about? Eyes. He's You're nice. Projecting. He looks like he's a nice guy. Yeah. Dude, all I'm saying is if I was single and I had a delivery of muffins from this particular muffin man who was also single, then I'd be like, Do you want to dive into my muffin? <laughs> Just saying. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that that sound. Does it sound yeah, like, just I'm gonna, gonna say, wouldn't it be so entertaining if we find works, out works, he works. wasn't a doctor or like a, a whatever? Like we found out he was a baker. Yeah, like he that was, would, was that awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> like, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh my yes. god, leave him alone. I'll leave. We're just. <laughs> Please leave him alone. Leave oh, my God. I'm not trying to dox these people. I, I, this is a no. public, these were public no. images on Twitter. We didn't, we didn't hire a PI or some, like, some other crazy places. Uh, I just was curious. He seems like a very, come on, right? Kind eyes, nice guy. Brought yeah. muffins to the meeting. For those of you guys who don't even know what we're talking about, when Dr. Curry, they made a big whole deal about the muffins because Amber thought she had her. Amber's like, can you imagine that meeting with Elaine where she's like, there was a point where the husband brought muffins, so he must have known about me, a celebrity, coming to the meeting. And then Elaine's like, oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, good one, Amber. We got this bitch. Oh, so you brought muffins? And she's like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, 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 he brings muffins to me all the time. <laughs> like, we stop talking about the damn muffins? Uh, so uh, they tried to get her, take her down. It, they failed. And bravo to the Muffin Man for bringing those muffins that day because you made that installment so much more interesting and exposed, if anything, how, how, how desperate Elaine and Amber Heard are by trying to expose you for bringing muffins that day. <laughs> what crazy people these people are. Uh, but I got to say, Shannon and Ty, gonna... you look wonderful. Please, I would love, please come on the show someday. Don't be afraid. Yeah. We love you. We're kind here. Please leave them alone. But my God, what an honor if we get to talk to her and the Muffin Man someday, uh, putting it on the on the vision board. Uh, thoughts? Go ahead. Oh, my thought. I got a thought right here. Uh, my dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> 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 that is all. That's my thought. I like chocolate muffins. <laughs> muffin Man wants to deliver chocolate muffins. <laughs> It's okay. Double chocolate. Favorite muffin? That's where we're, we're now to discussing. Favorite muffin. Talking about favorite muffin. Cho cho du double chocolate muffin with like uh like a chocolate kind of like goo inside. Nice. Yes. All chocolate. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nom nom like, nom. The basic that, woman I am. I'm that, here that, for pumpkin. That will fit in my gob all day long. <laughs> Sorry. What was that, Kim? Like the basic woman I am. I am here for pumpkin. <laughs> nice. That's not basic. I've never yeah. heard of pumpkin muffins before. Yeah, they're oh, good. 
Yeah, um, they have them. Okay, well, like, I'm in Canada. We have, I'm in the States. You guys have a lot of them now, too. But Tim Hortons, they have this pumpkin muffin that comes out in the fall. It's, like, stuffed with, like, kind of this cream cheesy type filling. And it's got, like, seeds on top. It's incredible. It's so good. So, so good. All right, well, I'm going to ask the, do you guys approve of the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Love him. Uh, uh, meh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, and then uh, disappointed. Should be the... Should have been Lewis. No, no, no. <laughs> should have been Lewis. Yeah, should have been Lewis. But should have been Lewis as, a, as, a, as an option. Please, I dare you. I double be... dare you. Should have been Lewis. I'm voting for that one. Should have been Lewis. There we go. Oh, please tell me. Uh, oh my Dad. gosh, we gotta take uh, Joshua Dad. Ryman. My goodness, Dad. a magic fifty for my new favorite Spice Girl, Spunky Spice. Keep up the great commentary and keep being you. Who? Wait, who? Which one of it? I want to be Spunky Spice. Which one's Spunky Spice? Uh, Joshua, I, we're all Spunky Spice. Uh, but thank you so much for that incredibly uh, generous. And then earlier, Joshua again. 25 for you and 50 for Kim. Appreciate both of you and your work. Guys, I All don't right. send it because then I can't. It doesn't work. And then YouTube takes the percentages. You got to <laughs> PayPal Kim. You got to PayPal Steph. You got to PayPal Lewis. I can't start. It's just, I, I'll figure no, it out. Thank but you oh my for gosh. supporting my friend. But thank I you for supporting. <laughs> if you want to support them directly, uh, make sure you support them directly. Because YouTube Super Chat, I can't even give her 50 because I only made, what, 30? 30, 30 on, is that, what's 30% of 50? 30? 30? I can't uh, do math. 35. $35 is what I actually made. So that's how you got to break it down that way. Uh, but thank you so much for your support either oh, way. Colin says Steph is spunky. Uh, oh, no, that wasn't the. Everyone is no, saying. Everyone's, yeah, saying everyone's now voting spice. who is spunky spice. Uh, <laughs> is that the next I, poll? I, I, who I, I, is spunky I thought the dude that said that was the dude that. Uh, super chat. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, DC says, "What do these payments show up as?" I have some weird card transactions in my account, but I can't work out if it's times. It should be PayPal or Stream Elements. Or transactions Google. show up as Secret or Sauce. Google. Yeah, it might be Secret Sauce. That's the channel behind the mm. scenes. If yeah. it's Secret Sauce, it might be that, uh, or Google, or Stream Elements, or PayPal. But yeah, if anybody else knows, let me know. But that, there you go, Miss Ashley. I love Starbucks pumpkin muffin and anything pumpkin spice. Well, there you go. Uh, no offense, we are feeding TikTok's rumor mill with the title. Oh my God, Erica and everybody, just take a chill pill. Oh my gosh. So don't, the titles have to be a certain way, otherwise they don't click. And I want to bring them in. I want to encourage and bring TikTok in here so we can educate them. And then I can hit this button in front of them. They're not dating. Stop it. <laughs> See how that works, Erica? So please don't judge a t book by its title. Watch the video. Uh, uh, Holly Halloween says, has anyone seen the new story of Amber killing her friend from high school's drunk driving? Yes, I have. Oh, what? yes, I have. I am in the midst of looking into that deeper. In fact, I'm trying to find somebody out in uh -oh. Austin who can help me on get on the ground and do some reporting or potentially deeper research to figure out What's actually true about this? Because, yes, there are some rumors out there about some stuff she's done in Austin back in the day that don't look pretty. That shows she has no remorse and did terrible things. So, yeah, if there's any Austin people who got time on their hands and want to do a little digging and get a report with me, hit me up. Uh, show me what you're capable of and uh, you're not going to be crazy. And uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll pull you in because I want to make sure I, I look into that a little bit more before I fully on report on those allegations. But yes. What about... Um, uh I may get the names mixed up. John Hubbard investigations. I mean, he's in Tampa here. He's not in Austin. So it's a little Don't bit Don't you have any contacts, though? I, I was going to ask, think? but uh, I, ideally we find someone who's good in uh, in that area. But yeah, if yeah. I, I can email John. I'll try and see if he can help us get a lead or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, there is there is some new stuff there about some drunk driving thing Amber did way back. And it ain't pretty. But I can't confirm it. But She'll probably bring it up during the trial. On her own. Yeah, today's day. bring it up accidentally. Today's day is going to be going through a lot of other stuff, so I'm just going to probably trim it here because I did what I promised in the title. But that's how the show sort of works. You guys catch us and then you hang longer. But last night's show got a, over a million views thanks to the Insane. trim. So I, I, I do that just because I want these videos and the, and the stories to track. If you want to hang out with us and be part of the community, you got to catch us live. Or you got to hit that join button. If you hit the join button, you'll get the full show uh, and you'll be able to catch us. In fact, Jody's joining us again. If you Woo! missed yesterday's show, oh my God, it was hilarious. He's coming back. Um, and I think we're going to do a, 
I think I'm going to go on over there to do a yin and yang. We're bringing it back where one of us is going to have to debate. <laughs> one of us is going to have to take Amber Heard's side and figure out who's innocent. Oh, uh, I'm oh, hoping, oh, I don't, oh, I, I'm hoping I don't get the short oh, stick, but one of us will have to seriously try to debate on behalf of Amber. Uh, so that could be a lot of fun. We're going to do that later. So again, join us. If you haven't watched the full shows, make sure you hit join. If you missed it live, if you're watching live, you're good. Don't do anything. If you missed it live, you can become a member. That's one of the perks is you get to go catch the whole three to four hour shows and you're at your leisure. So thanks to everybody who's been checking it out. Guys, thank you so much for watching here. We're not done. We went over to Jody's Corner. You can go to YouTube.com slash Jody's Corner. Uh, there he is. We're going to argue Amber Heard versus the Johnny so Depp. Too. It's going to be crazy. And if you want the full it's about feed to go down. that got trimmed, we had a whole long, oh my God, it's like three-hour stream. You can always catch it as Lit a member stream. here. Hit Jody, the join button to become a member. We'll Check our unlisted all full streams over there. Thank That's you to Steph, idea. Lewis, Kim, everybody, Jody. This was so much fun. We're going to be heading over right now to Jody's Corner. Wait, Jody. So He's come on over to Jody's Yeah, come on over, family. 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 Yeah, come on